Hello everyone and welcome to the channel where we bring you the latest and most interesting information on technology. Today we're going to talk about something unusual, and that is the use of PlayStation 3 consoles by the military. You might be wondering why the military would use gaming consoles in their operations, but the truth is these consoles offer some pretty impressive computing power that can be used in a variety of ways. So in this video we're going to explore how the military uses PS3 consoles and why they are such a valuable tool. First, let's talk about the specs of the PS3 console. The PlayStation 3 was released in 2006, and at that time, it was one of the most powerful gaming consoles on the market. It has a powerful 3.2 GHz cell processor and 256 megabytes of RAM, which is quite impressive for a console at the time. But what makes the PS3 stand out is its graphics processing power. It has an NVIDIA RSX Reality Synthesizer GPU that can output 1080p video, which was unheard for a gaming console in 2006. In fact, the PlayStation 3's processing power was so impressive that the U.S. military started to take notice. The U.S. military's interest in the PS3 console began in 2009 when they were looking for ways to create a powerful supercomputer that could be used for advanced simulations and other operations. They found that the PS3's powerful processing capabilities could be harnessed to create a supercomputer that was both cost-effective and highly efficient, so they purchased thousands of PS3 consoles and used them to create a supercomputer cluster. The cluster was created by removing the PS3's operating system and installing a custom Linux operating system. That has since been removed. This allowed the military to use the PS3's processing power for a variety of purposes, including advanced simulations, data processing, and even as a tool for cracking encrypted codes. In fact, the military's PS3 supercomputer was so powerful that it was ranked the 33rd most powerful supercomputer in the world in 2010. So why did the military choose to use PS3 consoles over traditional supercomputers? Well, there are a few reasons. Firstly, the PS3 consoles were much cheaper than traditional supercomputers. A single PS3 console could cost around $300 in 2009, whereas a traditional supercomputer would cost millions of dollars. Secondly, the PS3's processing power was much more efficient than traditional supercomputers, meaning that it could perform complex operations much faster with less energy consumption. Finally, the PS3 cluster was much more flexible than traditional supercomputers. If the military needed to increase the processing power of their supercomputer, all they had to do was just add more PS3 consoles to the cluster. But I mean, I guess that's it really though, the, the use of the PlayStation 3 consoles by the military might seem strange, but it's clear that these consoles offer some serious processing power that can be used in a lot of different ways. From advanced simulations to cracking encrypted codes, the PS3's powerful processing capabilities made it a valuable tool for the military, and when you consider the cost effectiveness and efficiency of the PS3 cluster, it's easy to see why the military chose to use this unconventional technology. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure to check out the shorts. I'm trying to put them out every day. See you next time.